All right, uh, good morning. It's, uh, well, it's close to noon right now. I just got out of class, got over the 22nd. So it's been several days. I think Thursday of last week, today's Wednesday. They filmed because the tripod broke. New tripod's here. Um, to update you, so I, yesterday I took some, uh, I don't know where it is, Blackie's Blend Fur King. It's a sweet paste bait. Smells like butterscotch and bubble gum to me. I, I'm always tempted to eat it, but I haven't yet. Anyways, and uh, I put it on the stools because they've seen very little activity and I've watched the rat swim right by it. I'm like, okay, so he sees the carrot, but he doesn't know it's food. So I put that on there. Um, so far, just as I drove, I have a stool sitting right here. Where am I? Oh, down. My bad. Right there. See that stool? There's a rat just next to it. Um, and then as I drove up, I think there's a few more stools that don't actually have rats on them, or the traps on them. I couldn't tell I was driving. And you know, you're supposed to drive and not look for ducks or rats or fish, because that's no-no. So, I also, in addition to that, because of that sweet paste bait, I actually set out about 12 coon sets down on the other end of the line. There's a lot more coon down there because I use this bait in the summer and they go pretty nutty over it. But well, let's try it for rats. So I wanted to short stop all the raccoons. Short stopping is you stop them before they get to another bait. It's like people do the same thing on their coyote sets. They'll put in some one and a halfs or something to try and catch all the skunks and raccoons before they get to a well made coyote set. I guess if you're from the south, a possum. So that's what we did here to try and stop. The coons are making to the rat sets, so we'll see how it works. Hopefully, we have some coon. That's one animal I know how to catch is a raccoon. So we will see you pulling up some dead rats. Hopefully, so hold on one minute. All right, so this is the, uh, the stool I showed you in the truck. Um, I already went down and checked the line downstream of me, and surprisingly, there's no rats. Now, this rat right here. There's a nice front foot catch, the number two Vic, uh, the old style as I think I've talked about. So that's uh, that's a pretty big rat right there. Nice big adult. Went down quick, ground and double time, like they always do with these big Vicks. They're you know, it's quite heavy. So now, we reset. I've had this stool here for like probably five days. Ooh, pay attention. For about five days. Come on. And every day I'm like, why isn't there a rat in there? Why isn't there a rat in there? Because um, <laughs> I've trapped rats in this creek for almost five years. Next season will be five years. And, uh, you know, first season using stools, normally I just, um, trap dens and runs in the spring and fall. But this season I was, I'm going to try, I'm going to try a run or stools because you know, it's uh, something new. And so I've always seen them eating under here. So I decided to set up a stool. Now this is some Lennon's Super or Muskrat Super Alcohol or whatever. This is, I just got it last night. Heard really good things about it. So that's going to go on top of the uh, Blackie's Blend Fur King. So we have some really good odors going on here. Um, I still got a couple more sets. Well, actually, I have quite a few more. I have another four traps up here, and then we got to drive to the location. Here's a big snail. Oh, big snail. What a oh, rat right there. Okay. So we will hopefully have some more rats at the next set, and uh, we'll see you there. This is that log float I took pictures of and put in a few episodes ago. I got uh, 
first catch yesterday in that trap right there and uh, we've got another rat in it today oh well I don't know those were uh, number two conibears because that's what that one did he put his head right on that thing and he cranked himself over well I'll take him he was dead probably instantly so we will go ahead and get him out and uh, show you the remake and that's the remake right there just put two little coins of carrot on there and added some linens and uh, we're out of here onto the next set all right so uh, got ourselves the coon that's about a year old maybe just got done sucking his mom's tit if I had to guess so uh, if you look at that trap that right there is a, a traps USA coon shackle in blue now that's a handmade blue well look he's sitting for you good boy easy easy roll over oh roll over come on okay so maybe he's not as trained um but yeah that's a nice coon only one of them out of 12 sets that i've checked so far but uh that's good that way oh he's rolling over i told you so we will uh actually i'm gonna try something they love shellfish oil and that's what i use um, oh good boy uh, that's what I use as a trailing scent mixed with vegetable oil. So I'm actually, come down, I'm actually going to read lure because I was using some older trailing scent. So I don't think it's as good a quality or has much punch. So um, I will show you the remake on this as well. I'm actually going to show how he reacts to him. I've never done this, so I'm kind of interested. So we are going to go do that. Or I'm going to go get it. But we'll see you back here in about a minute and a half, possibly. Nice fresh coon track. I was not there yesterday. I absolutely promise. And guess what I have? I have a DP right there. And then if we turn this way, 10 feet away, we got a DP right there. So either, very possibly, he could have entered right there. But that's what we're going to do. But he's, he's still going that way. So that's why I'm going to redo the trailing scent. It's a lot stronger, has a, a lot more kick to it. And uh, yeah, because. As you all will see this summer, um, I do a lot of damage control, coon trapping and, and skunks and stuff. And you don't want to miss them. This is not good. So, you know, I'll use sometimes four or five cents at, a, at, a, at, a, at one location. People go, wow, that's crazy. I'm like, well, you're fur trapping. All you want is you just go and you catch them as you can and the catch free drop off you move. Damage control is entirely different. Entirely different. You want to catch... So you'll take the 80% in fur trapping really quick. Like rats, you come into a high population area, you give it three days or four checks or something, and you move. So you caught the ones that are going to get caught. That's the 80%. Well, if you're damage control for rats, you need to catch that 20%, which will require you to use multiple sets or multiple cents out of set, different sets, and you just got to change it up for the, for the separate animal. So it becomes more of a... I'm not going to say a hot, well, not a job, well, I don't know. It's a lot more demanding, and I like it because you're like, okay, like I had a coon this last summer that only had four toes, or three toes, I think it was three toes on one foot, and he would just skirt my sets, or he'd, he'd work them, and he'd leave, because he'd been pinched before. Well, finally I caught him, I just had to change some things up, and and I got him, so. I also got one with no foot, that one took a while, because the lion was like, yeah, I caught this coon last year, and he rung off, and I'm just like, Kidding me? He's like, yeah, but he's. I'm like, well, so that was kind of a challenge. But, anyways, back to. Yeah, so I'm gonna go get the shellfish oil and relure all these, and we will see you at that little bitty coon. Calming down, you're smelling it. All right, remake super fast. We got an anise or no hemp. Um, I've got coon grabbers in these. Uh, like I said, it's something I do for damage control. A lot of people think it really ups your number. My favorite are the anise ones. Um, they actually have a softer texture. Not sure why. So I'm just gonna shut that real fast. Don't use setters. If I'm setting a lot of them in a day, I might push into the ground. 
take, uh, I buy the cheapest cat food I can find just because expensive cat food works, but why pay more if cheaper works better. Now this is something I get a lot of crap for. I take a white styrofoam and 12 or 16 ounce, I don't remember. Put it on the top, real light. You don't want to push it on there, just real light. I do that for a couple reasons. Rain doesn't affect my cat. Some people go use a different bait. They go, I don't want to use a different bait because the bait I use works fine. Um, keeps out the rain. And on any, you get any moonlight in here, any sunlight, not, well, it could be sunlight. But any ambient light, this thing lights up like a torch. Another thing I do, now this is a sriracha bottle, I'm aware. I take, this is old fryer oil, normally it's just pure vegetable oil, and I add an ounce of shellfish, sometimes two ounces, to a gallon. And uh, this is the stuff. So all I do is just put a circle around it, spray it out there, and let's spray it up here. And uh, never, ever put that in with a bait, ever. Never put it in there, nothing, because it will not eat it, I promise. It will sit there and smell it. That coon licked it. Wouldn't touch it after that. It's disgusting. So, that's the remake. Then deal. 26 inch or 24 inch rebar steak. Um, stock chain, stock everything. So, that is ready to kill a coon. Or catch a coon, I should say. Tonight. I've got, you know, loads of them lined up. So, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I will, uh, I'll answer them. All right, so we got the rat on the float and the rat on the stool. I re-lured all the stools, I think maybe one, with uh, linens, and then the float as well. So I've heard really, 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 really good things about it. So hopefully we see the same results. We got that little coon, so uh, I'll have to skin him out, and he's tiny. Um, I was worried about pulling stakes up because I was able to just push the stakes in with my feet. I was like, huh, whatever. So I was, I was like, I might have a few missed traps in the morning, but that line right there is probably going to get pulled tomorrow morning early because uh, there's a road that goes on the other side of this creek, which is normally closed because of snow. And yeah, I didn't need to put a gate on my freaking opinion. Because people just drive that. I'll be out there checking traps. They'll be watching me. And I'm just like, all these days, the whole line is going to disappear. So, probably pull that tomorrow early, like I said. I might put a few down on the other end of the line. You got the two rats on the floats. That's, that's fun. Um, but yeah, the linens, we should see some better. The remake on the DP, that's how I've done it. You know, like I said, I learned, I actually learned myself how to, you know, maximize efficiency with those. So if you have any questions or comments or anything about that, just let me know. Um, please like and subscribe. I'll put a button somewhere on the screen. And uh, don't ever stop hunting, fishing, or trapping. And we'll see you all in a day or two.